Hi, I'm Jerry Wayne, the Lauder Professor and Professor of Marketing uh, and Director of the SEI Center for Advanced Studies and Management at Wharton School. The idea of design is a very powerful methodology uh, that is based on the premise that most organizations, as we know them today, are a collection of um, Band-Aids. Uh, they had a problem, they put a Band-Aid. They had another problem, another Band-Aid. So at any given point of time, uh, no organization is really optimal, uh, both in terms of their strategy or in terms of their organizational architecture. So the idea of idealist design is, uh, as opposed to trying to build on the current mess of Band-Aids the organization has, is to start the fresh look, start with a fresh piece of paper, and say, if we had our druthers, we could create today, with today's technology, an idealized organization, both idealized strategy, a new vision for the organization, new strategy, as well as organizational architecture, how would we do it? What, what do we have to do? This is actually known also in the literature as backward planning. So as opposed to the traditional forward planning, you start from where you are today, you start here with an idealist design the future where you want to be and then you work back from there to where you are today. So the, the program really is based on five components. Uh, the first one is a deeper understanding of what's happening in the world. Uh, so while we all talk about all the technological changes, we talk about the empowered consumers, we talk about the globalization, uh, there's really need for a better in-depth in understanding of these changes. Um, and in the technology area, for example, the whole area of um, cognitive computing, which is illustri uh, the illustrative area of application is through Watson that IBM developed, uh, but there are similar approaches in the AI that Google is working on others. These are really important developments that most people are not familiar with. So the first component is really a better awareness and understanding of the dramatic changes that are affecting us. Uh, and it's not just technology by itself, it's actually technology and its interface with more empowered and skeptical consumers with changes in globalization, changes in the nature of the market. The, the major obstacle for change for most organizations are the mental models of their uh, executives. Uh, so what we're trying to do is provide the participants with an understanding and awareness and understanding of the changes in the world, but then to allow them to step back, identify what are their current mental models, and to the extent needed to challenge their current mental models to allow them to understand the changes. Uh, because the natural reaction, especially if you're a successful company, is to ignore the changes, just continue with the status quo, because that's the easiest way of doing it. But this leads to disastrous results, that companies basically who've been very successful at one time then suddenly disappear from, uh, from the face of the earth because they missed the opportunities that others saw. Uh, so we'll, the second component of the program will be understanding what mental models are and providing the participants with tools to challenge them. Third is, given this, now let's go to the ideal, idealist design approach we discussed before. And then the question is, okay, we designed the future, but how do we now, what do we do about this? So our approach is primarily through experimentation. Uh, the world is too complex and changing too rapidly to allow anyone to develop an optimal strategy. So the idea here is instead of trying to strive for this elusive optimal strategy, how do we develop a discipline of adaptive experimentation? How do we start experimenting very fast using fast prototyping, very fast experimentation? So how do we take all the, uh, the ideas we develop from the changes in the world and how do we start experimenting with them? Uh, the ideas will come primarily from understanding what's happening today, different ways in which companies are addressing them. Uh, development such as open innovation, which is absolutely key to most companies, and yet not everyone is using it. So the idea will be to not only to provide the participants with the latest concept and method, but also with an opportunity to apply them. So it's not sitting in the classroom and listening and nodding your head and saying, yeah, that sounds great, but rather providing them with tools such as that adaptive experimentation to allow them to design actual experiments to implement the ideas. So every idea will develop. They'll develop then basically understanding of the idea. They'll understand under what conditions it can work, allow them a pro processes for prioritizing them, to evaluate the idea and prioritizing them, and then on prioritize the idea to basically design experiments to actually implement them. 
Uh, the idea then of the program is to take these experiments and actually at the end of the four, three and a half day program here, to go out to the field and to experiment with them, to implement these experiments. And uh, we envision then a few months down the road, like three months later, having the participants come back for a day and reporting on the results of their experiments. What worked, what didn't work, what have they learned from this, and what will be the next set of experiments they're going to develop from here. So it's really a program that is very much hands-on and includes both the kind of the idealist design in terms of how do I really create organization that I would like it to be, not necessarily just continuation of what I'm doing today, but then implementing it very concretely through experimentation.